hi guys welcome back to our channel today i'm going to be reviewing a yoruba movie titled iwiwi me starring yemi solade mama rainbow this movie is about a rich man and a young lady this man name is tokumbo he was a very wealthy man and he enjoys giving because of this he was loved by a lot of people and well known by the area boys mr tokumbo was married to a very beautiful wife whom he gives reports of everything that is happening in the office mr tokumbo is the ceo of where he works one good day mr tokumbo went to work and there was a new staff that was recruited by the name Aramide. Aramide was such a very beautiful and elegant lady and this made Mr. Tukumbo to be very attracted to her. With the attraction of Mr. Tukumbo's mind, he ended up raping Aramide. After the rape incident, Aramide discovered that she was pregnant. Aramide then decided to tell her senior colleague named Folake. She explained everything to Folake. She explained to Folake how everything happened that led to her being pregnant. Her senior staff Folake then advised her to go and tell Mr. Tokumbo. Aramide immediately went straight to see Mr. Tokumbo with the pregnancy results. Aramide gave Mr. Tokumbo the pregnancy results telling him that she is pregnant for him. But Mr. Tokumbo advised her to get rid of the pregnancy. But poor Aramide disagrees on getting rid of pregnancy because her mother advised her not to do so. But after Mr. Tokumbo revealed to Aramide that he was not the owner of all his properties but his wife, and if his wife should know that she is pregnant for him, that his wife will collect all the properties from him. At this point, poor Aramide was so confused and she decided to get rid of the pregnancies. On Aramide's way to get rid of the pregnancy, she met a pastor. The pastor told her that if she tries to get rid of the pregnancy, that she would die in the process. Aramide was so scared that she decided to follow the pastor to church for protection. The pastor then called Mr. Tokumbo and advised him that Aramide would not be able to get rid of the pregnancy and what would happen to Aramide if she tries to get rid of the pregnancy. After talking to Mr. Tokumbo, Mr. Tokumbo then agrees that Aramide should leave the child and not get rid of the pregnancy. But Folake, who was Aramide's senior staff, went and told Tokumbo's wife about the pregnancy. Mrs. Tokumbo was very angry that she confronted her husband about the pregnancy, but Mr. Tokumbo denied ever having an affair with Aramide. With all this happening, Mr. Tokumbo went straight to the area boys and told them to help him to get rid of Aramide. The pastor, on the other hand, saw a vision of what was about to happen and she told Aramide that she will have to leave the church and run for safety. That night, the people who were assigned to kill Aramide came to the church and they could not see her. Poor Aramide was running for her dear life for the little things that she had with her but unfortunately for her she was robbed and everything was taken away from her. Aramide was helped by a stranger. The killers then went straight to Mr. Tokumbo to tell him that the lady ran away but Mr. Tokumbo went back to his wife to tell her that the lady wanted to get money from him and when he refused to give her money, she decided to lie against him. After settling with her husband, Mr. T Mrs. Tokumbo then called Folake to tell her to help her get information on where Aramide is staying so that she can be able to end Aramide's life. So guys, this is the end of the part one of this movie. What do you think is going to happen on the part 2 of the movie? Do you think Mr. Tokumbo's wife will go after Aramide and kill her? 
Do you think Aramide will be able to have the child in peace? What are your thoughts regarding this? Kindly leave your comments below and do not forget to like, subscribe, share and turn on the post notification for more updates. Catch you guys on my next one.